not a great intro, but... Alright guys, I'm bringing you another... Well, a better version of my tutorial on how to, uh... Make a modded backup. Maybe it's not 1080p again, but the frames will be better, so it's not as much lag and shit in the video. Hopefully, and... Yeah. Um... And just to let you guys know, I'm working on a little bit of a project for you guys on trying to make the best modded backup. So you guys can comment in this video, letting me know whether or not I should do this or not. Um, what was this shit? Six. Uh, uh, oh, MW2. Yeah. I'm W2 pass got fucked up on that one. New folder. Yeah, I just stay with that name because it's shortest and easiest to do. And guys, I think I gave you the download link from the last video. But I'll put it again in this video. Um all you need is this. Wait. Where's the folder? Okay, all you need is this folder full of stuff. I already showed you the archive last video. I'll just give you a more in depth video like um tutorial on how to do this alright and so basically you don't even need a playstation id dot bin thingy all you really need is you need to make sure that you can you don't even need to extract the backup which, which is what i figured out all you need to do is make a folder called dev underscore hdd like that all right guys anywhere I know I'm kind of showing you mine, but that's an extract one, but you can do the same thing, it'll work perfectly fine. And after you make that folder, you want to open it, and put in another folder for, depending on what you want to do with your modded backup. So, let's say you want to, like, um, hold up, I'm trying to figure it out. Put that one right there. Kind of like, yeah, sorry, I got two monitors here, guys. Only recording one at the moment. And basically, you just need a folder called game for modded um, patches like COD4. Um, what's this? GTA. Yeah, GTA 4. Um, this one, I believe, is World at War. And this is Model for 2, which I think I'm running a normal patch on now. Doing a couple tests that came out earlier. A lot of them didn't work. Kind of sucks, but um, yeah. Um, if you want to put like avatars, you need to either make like an account that account number that's not already on your PS3 and put it here, or if you know the account number, you can put that too. And you want to put um, in that. Okay, if you want to go to the home folder, make a account number folder. Like I think it is one, two, three, four, five. Six zeros and then uh, two numbers, I guess. I don't fucking know. And make a folder PSN underscore avatar. That's where you put all your avatars. See, I got like, I guess it's a 900 something pack. But, yeah, that's just if you guys want to do that. Um, but basically, for backups, all you need to do is. I mean, not for backups, for game, like modded patches and stuff. Mod menus, whatever you want to call them. Um. All you need to really do is you need to have, let me see if I could find the folder. I should have been more organized when I started this video. And if I could find, no, no, somewhere here. And there should be a, yeah, you need like a package from, I'll show you guys for example. I showed you in the last video, but I'll show you again, why not? You just go to yeah. It's taking a minute, but uh, you need to do the awesome update finder, like I showed you in the last video. So let's say I don't know for all the countries, but for like um, Model for Two, that would be it. Like I showed you in the last video, I think it was Model for Two. I'm pretty sure, but that would be from Model for Two in America, U.S. This wait, did I just type that in right? I don't. Yeah, that's Modern Warfare, I call it 4. And then, um, I 
think this one might be GTA 4. No, World at War. That's World at War. GTA 4 would be 3127. Maybe? No, no, no. I got it wrong. I knew I got it wrong on that one. Um, I don't remember the one for GTA 4. If you guys want, though, all you need to do, I will try to find some, like, um, website that'll tell you the blast and blast numbers. Although, you can probably find them pretty easily, either on your disk case or Google. It's also an easy way. Just know the country you live in. And basically, like I said before, you just need to go to that website and download it. Or, it's not even going to copy the link. I'll show you real quick. For people who ask me a shit ton of questions. Alright. And for Mac users, I'm not on Mac, I'm on Windows. Just let you know that now. Um, I don't completely know how to do it on Mac. I'm still looking it up because I had some people asking me, I think it was today or yesterday. Let's check in the comment section. And somebody asked me um, how to do this, how to open the files on Mac. I'm not completely sure. If somebody could help them, I'm, I'm still trying to look it up. Never done this on Mac. Not a Mac user as it is. Um, so, I just want to open up your browser real quick. And you want to go to this. And it will give you the download like I said before. After you have the download, you just. I think I showed you guys this. Like, I already showed you this, but I'll just show you one more time. You know, so you get the whole point behind this thing. Just go to package. Open it. I would come up with like a run thing. Mine doesn't because I might have run without the thing. You just get this package with everyone you have. I think this one is COD 4. It's one of the more. Don't know why I have both of them in here. But you just right click it and then extract it to source or extract to wherever you want to extract it. You know guys. It'll give you like that like uh, a folder like like this pretty much. Same thing right there. That's all you need to do, guys. Then you just replace the patch, you know, and you should be okay. And um, after you replace the patch, guys, I will do a small um, thing real quick. Let's just show you. I would show you guys that this does work, and I have mod menu and stuff, but I don't have a capture card or nothing. Probably record it on camera, but it just would not look great. Not very good at recording a TV with a camera. Um, I just put that folder. I don't even know. Just close all this. Fuck it. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, I'll just show you the order real quick, just in case. Make sure everything has to be under case and shit. Um, just shit like that, you know, guys. Like I showed you from my folder, but that's for the people that were paying attention to shit on their desktop. And. Okay. Let me just find this shit. Wow. Where did I put this? Here it is. And okay. uh, guys, where? Yeah, PSP export. Fuck me. I'm, I'm tired, guys. Um. So, yeah, I found out you guys don't even need the PlayStation ID. That would only be if you were, like, doing DLCs or something. Basically, all you need to do is click on the keys file, which should be right there in the folder. That I, uh, in the PS3 export folder. So just go to the folder wherever I gave it to you guys. Mine took this because it's the original folder I had all my stuff in. And it should say this, keys dot. See you on that. If you guys can't find it, let me know in the comments. Try to fix it. I don't know why you wouldn't have it, but maybe you fucked up your raw. Maybe your computer fucked up your raw. I have no clue. Alright, so after that, you just want to go to your output. So you see that this does work. And if it does give you any, any errors, it is most likely your. Because um, I, I found sometimes when I did this, it gave me a little bit of an error. I, I could show you real quick. Um. Yeah, that's what I want to put in there, I think. And, for example, hold up, I will change the name of this one real quick. Just to show you what type of error I'm talking about. In case you guys get it, I just want to let you know what you have to do. 
just let me rename this one to like I could name it the same thing, but with two eyes or a lowercase i, and for some odd reason it gives you the weirdest error. But I'll just wow, what happened to it? Hold oh, on, my bad. That was fucked. I thought I had it. Okay, there we go. Now look, it's gonna probably give me an error if it does. Oh, fuck. Okay, my bad. Cause sometimes I get an error, guys. But I don't know. I try to name them similar to names, and it should work this time. As a matter of fact, I don't even need to do this. I already have fucking too many backups. But yeah, guys. After this is done, um, all you need to do is restore your PS3 and the backup utility. And you can find that in system settings under backup utility restore new USB device. And yeah, I would show you guys, but I cannot at the moment. Like I said, I don't have a capture card, I have no camera at the moment. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm stuck about it. Um, you guys could let me know what you'd like to see in my next videos. Um, by the way, if you guys are wondering, like, oh, is it in the GTA 5 mods? Because I heard other people saying that. Well, anyone is saying exactly GTA, like GTA 5, but they were asking for GTA mod menus. And the thing about that, guys, is it only... Okay. Only with custom firmware. Like, okay. Oh, alright, that is. The only way to use a modded eboot, which is what you need for the newer Call of Duties and GTAs and shit, you need to be on custom firmware, because I have, um, like, modded coding or some shit inside of them. And when you, I, I don't know the exact word for it, but, yeah, basically when you try to load it up on official firmware, it'll keep giving you this error. I've tried it fucking hundreds of times. You don't even want to go through the problems I've been through trying to do that shit. It is a huge pain in the ass. But, um, yeah, guys, leave, leave a, like, comment, subscribe, I don't care. It's your guys' choice. Free will. Free country. And, um, yeah, just tell me what you guys think I should do next in my next videos. Let me know. Alright, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.